Can I get a room for tonight, please? <laughs> Room's all yours. Head on up. Thanks. Good morning, sir. Let's go, girl. Sir? Morning. Just what in the hell's the problem here? No need here? to check on me, mister. I'm still here. You must need eyes in the back of your head. Want to get to know me better? Guess you don't want a good time. Hey there. Don't think I've seen you in here before. I only keep select items on the shelves. Gum and candies behind the shelf, and the medicine and tonics are on the table against the wall. See the catalog if you can't find what you're looking for. Same price there is on the shelves. Does the trick. Okay. Thank you, Doc. I'll see you. 
If you was open, I wouldn't recognize you. I got some bad news. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Let's go, girl.
Mister. Good morning to you. me again, girl. Yep. All right, girl. Not bad, girl. I tell thee, and I tell thee now, eternity waits for us all. Your own brother? At which eternity? <laughs> you're wasting your breath. Sounds like your brother should have smarted you up when he had a chance. Help a blind man. Please, you gotta believe me. I'm the wrong Have man. Have this. I see the morrows, and see them clearly, sir. Even when all reason is lost and all truth has become lie, you will stand firm. For loyalty is both your saving yeah. and your curse. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that.
peasy easy. Speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Chilonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help!
Hey, just hold up a minute. You pop up out of nowhere? Just stop and let's talk about this. Jesus Christ! 
crazy. You're the crazy one. Just stop and let's talk about this. This is none of your damn business. What is wrong with you? This is none of your damn business. Hey, what are you doing, mister? Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with... What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! Arthur, I'm a man now. I, I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. Okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on. That ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But, all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Hey! You got nothing better to do. Hey, do you need something?
something? You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I feel like... The luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. How'd you do? Hi there, mister. Evening. Hey, partner. Evening. Hey, mister.
go. It's me. Look who's back. Hey, Arthur. Miss Cat, all good? Too good. Like the chance to shoot a fella and not feel bad about it. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Stay alert. Don't, none of you, never go do something stupid and get yourself a woman. You hear me? trust y'all with Uncle John on this one. And if you got one, get rid of them. Go drown them in the goddamn ocean, because trust me, boys, it's you or them. You or them, they'll kill you. But they won't do you the kindness of shooting you or slitting your throat. They will slowly grind you down. low on meat here don't you overcook this now Pearson just in time mr. Morgan thank you Arthur how's it going I'm good that's good Thanks, Mr. Morgan. Evening. Hello, ladies. Yeah, damn shame.
O'Driscoll boy. Morning, Arthur. Hello. Morning, Arthur. How are you? You okay, Abigail? I'm all right, Settling in? Good. I'm fine, Arthur. Don't make it. Okay, girl. Or a siphon. Oh, oh. All right. All right. Quit moaning. Oh, Christ. Oh, oh God. Let's keep this between us. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Mister?
Swanson, you hear me? Come on. What's the hold up? Play your damn hand. Play it. All right. Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? Nah. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> He committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> Check. Check. He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. I'll check. Uh-uh, no. How about that? That's all I got. All right, then. Now, that is a real hand. Hmm, better than nothing. Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Well, sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where is... <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot? 
priest wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Off him. Say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Please, don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell a soul. I promise. You're a sad case. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! to like this place and what stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But...
zippers, please. Hey, shot it back there. There he is. Don't remember you ever carrying me home, Morgan. Well, I was wondering when he'd show up. The hell are you? Very well. That's good to hear. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Uh, uh, oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Good evening, Arthur.
at you. Simmer down. Yeah, you're all right, girl. Good hole there, girl. Okay, girl. Hey! Who's there? It's me, Arthur. The hero returns. Mr. Morgan? Let me see some more smiling, boys. Come on. Okay, we'll find that time. 
Do you realize you look like a backstreet butcher, Mr. Morgan? I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. The modern world is ugly. But the old world was worse. How are you? All good. Good old. Thanks, Mr. Pearson. To make a better world for ourselves. Not go Hello, Arthur. But go Ladies. Forward. You seem a bit happy. Yes, I'm feeling good. I'm glad. Sure thing. That hope begins now by being hopeful. <laughs> so cheer up. All of you, cheer up. You're okay, girl. Come on, girl. Whoa.
Mama ain't here to tell you which car is which, huh? This must be tough for you. Okay, there? Don't start no more crap around here. You okay, boy? All done here. Morning. That is quite the look there, partner. Good morning, mister. Morning, partner. Hello, mister. I've played morning. a hand or two with your wife. She's Will actually you? quite good. Could learn a thing or two from her. Look, there must be some misunderstanding. <laughs> you it's all good. Calm down. Let's go, girl. Yeah. There we go. Easy. Yeah, it won't take long, girl. That should do it, girl. Let's move. Don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. Se 
What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. Well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... <gasps> A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ah, oh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Good luck to you. You wait, Lily May. Well, someday, I'll show you. Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? You care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll come around. Yeah? I've been waiting. I'll be rich. A nice, big house. He'll be begging me to court you. <laughs> Lily May. Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right.
bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't yeah, think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Well, after you. What possessed me to come out here, I'll never know. <laughs> None of this is familiar to me, but it all looks the same, so... What are you doing out here, anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't uh, know, I'm just visiting. Uh, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack, and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. familiar oh are we close to town sir you've rescued me from the depths you seem quite the resourceful sort sir if for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. Well, keep that in mind. Maybe stay in town for now, huh? A rock and a hard place. Thanks anyway. Uh, New Yorkers. Jesus. Excuse me, partner. Good morning. Nice round here. I'm kind of new to these parts. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this pulp heap. Impressive. No bruising at all. I won't complain about New York again, let me tell you. you all right, girl? I'm sorry.
Welcome. Well, look who stirred the hornet's nest. See ya. Strawberry? Can you arrange the bath? I need a wash. All right. Head on over when you're ready. How about some assistance? Ah, oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. Good. Now relax. Hope I'm not scrubbing too hard. I don't feel much like talking, if that's okay with you. Sure, I'll quiet here. <laughs> of course. All right, think I'm good. Bye, hon. open room if you'd like another night. You look fine up. Feeling fresh, I hope?
Thanks, partner. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on.
old woman. Like I said, I need to skinny. Get out here. Skinny. It ain't skinny, Micah. It's normal. Oh. You always was a letdown, you fat sack of crap. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. In a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. 
to liven it up by letting me help you shoot up half a town. <laughs> You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. Why you act all sour all the yeah, time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Easy there. All right, girl. Okay then, girl.
Who we'll put a rock in right the there. middle of the road? Hey, you there? Aye. Would you mind watching my stuff while I head to find another wagon? Uh, sure. You're a kind man. I'll be back. Fit as a fiddle. Boss ain't gonna be happy about this. But where this normally ain't rocked on this road. Yeah, you good, girl? Hey there, can I have a word? Is everything okay? Hey there, girl. Yeah, there's a girl. There 
we go. Serious. Get your ass down here. The next step is the last one you Don't take. Don't joking. God damn it! I'm taking you in. I'm guessing you're a bounty hunter. Okay, there. Posters usually go up Hello on there. the wall there. Word is he's made a home out of an old mine up in the Big Valley Mountains. But you might want you to must need eyes the in the back of your Josh head. Brown to be a hmm. hard man to kill, let alone capture. Take this! Oh well, you shit, it. We, we got to do some old man for you. Hey, are you? Well, shit, look who showed up. Ah! What the fuck? Ah! Ah! Hey, mister. 